All right, guys, we're playing Olaf top lane again today. We're playing Olaf versus a Gangplank top lane. And for the runes, we now have a lethal tempo. We got presence, alacrity, last stand, biscuits, delivery, and then also approach velocity. Now, this game, I'm back with Olaf, and there's a reason for that. I want to recommend Olaf more than just once to you guys. Olaf is currently popping off so hard in the meta. And I highly advise, guys, if you don't play Olaf, if you haven't tried him yet, I encourage you to do that because you're going to have such a fantastic time in lane. Trust me on that. Let's call it in here. I'll take my W for the auto reset. But yeah, Olaf is easily one of the best 1v1 champions, you know, right next to Darius and a few others that you can play. And he requires very little skill. Like, Olaf is not complicated to play. The most, you know, annoying th nice. annoying thing, I guess, is throwing axes. That's something you have to learn to uh, position properly. But, like, aside from the axes and, like, the auto attack reset on W, there's nothing else that you have to learn on the champion. It's like playing Garen 2.0. Uh, we're actually running Lethal Tempo this game and not Conquer. Uh, Conquer is very nice, but... I want to demonstrate the Lethal Tempo version of this game, because I like Lethal Tempo a lot. Okay, let's get that, uh, let's get that portion that we reset. That I'll show you why. There you go. Okay, so I'm actually pushing this out very hard, because there's two reasons. I have very little mana, that's one thing. Second reason is that if I push this lane in, I can go back, I can buy the Longsword. And then I can come back a lot stronger. There we go. And let's run back. So you can see that this Gangplank is very smart because he actually runs Thorn Shield, which means if I throw my axe down, he's actually going to be healing back a portion of it. Probably to try and scale against me because my early game is just, you know, incredibly strong, right? All right, let's hold it like this. So Gangplank is actually going for a reset and he has TP, right? Uh, we have the wave positioned in front of my tower. So it's going to start like stacking slowly now. Um, once Gangplank gets back to me, the first thing that I'm going to do is all in as hard as I can, right? The difference between me as Olaf against him is that we are running a little tempo. He's running uh, first strike. So my all in is 10 billion times better. I'm just going to do this. Okay. And he's forced to back off again. So that's going to be his TP. I think I might even force the entire wave here. But I will auto attack slowly. But yeah, our all-in will always be better than Gangplank. Because our runes are meant for all-inning. And he also has first strike. And first strike is more like a like a Let me sting around. I don't know if he's gonna get anywhere close to me, but let's see. I'll take an opportunity right here. Okay, this is great. This is very good for me. Let me let me show you. I think I might stay around because I think he will overextend. Oh, I missed it. Okay, no problem. I'm uh, about to get my ultimate in half a level, and I'm just kind of waiting towards it. I also have biscuits for mana, so we're not missing out. Seems like jungle is on dragon. Oh, nice one. Okay, we just wait. There's nothing that we have to do. The wave is pushing in my direction right now, so he must walk up at me if he wants to take the farm. We almost got my level up. Yep, there we go. And he's pretty much dead. Well, I have no mana anymore. Maybe now? 
Uh, seems like jungle is here. Uh, I don't think that my jungle can help very much. I don't think so. Maybe he can actually. Can my jungler be used here? Hmm. Okay. Got him. We actually got both. Okay. And it's time uh, to reset. So it seems like Brand is also top lane. I, uh, I'm not going to help because I need to reset. Otherwise, my lane will get messed up. Let's go into um, specifically Berserk Grieve. So this is something that you guys are not used to seeing, right? Um, I'm going to show you why I'm doing this. Um, I think I will go into Stripe Breaker. And let's get back. Okay, check this out. We already have a massive advantage over this gangplank. We have way more farm. Um, again, we have Berserkus Greaves, and you guys are not used to seeing this, but um, Berserkus Greaves, I'm building it because I have Lido Tempo, because I'm building into Stripe Breaker and possibly into Blade. If I run Berserkus Greaves, I can run up to this guy super easily. Nice, we hit it. It is so incredibly easy to win lane on Olaf, guys. I am not joking here. It is so simple to do. Let's grab the next wave, and then we go back. Okay, and we are going to reset. I think I might put a few points in W. Before I go back, grab another one. And I'm going to walk this direction and then I'll just walk into brush again so I can give him that special surprise. At least I don't know if he's going to overextend. Seems like we might actually grab another kill because he does not expect me to be here still. And we go again. Thank you. And goodbye. Olaf is so nice. It is so nice, man. So simple. Okay, and we go back. So uh, this time we're going to go into Tiamat. And then also into attack speed. And I'll just take that one. Actually, yeah, I'll just take Red Shrinket. We're getting pretty close to Stripe Breaker. We'll be close to it. Again, the the lay uh, the the wave is going to be slightly lost, a little bit. Seems like we're only losing cannon at most. I don't even think we do. No, 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 we don't. I'll push this out. This is my favorite part of Olaf when you when you buy Tiamat, because the whole lane changes. Because you can uh, you can queue the whole wave and they can proc teammate after so you can keep on like promo pushing all the time Ooh, that's one i can block him from getting back <laughs> the wave is going down so he's gonna lose Maybe it's gonna walk here or here. Goodbye. 
And more points in my W. Let's get that tower down. I think I might not touch the, the, the tower yet. I want the entire wave to go down and then I take tower. So he is going to lose more farm. So we're chilling for a bit. Wait a second. We can almost take it down. I think we can get like one more down before we take it. No. We got most down. So we lost a large, large amount. Okay, let's go back. 2,000 gold, that's a lot of gold. And we got Stride Breaker. Okay, we're going to go and build into the next item right now, which might be a bit unexpected. I was going to go Blade of the Rune King, but I actually don't go for that item after all. So what I'm actually going to do is I will build into Experimental Hexblade. We're going to go for this item and uh, I'm building it because of the effect. That's really it. And also spamming old. So no blade this game. It's just going to be Stripe Breaker into Hexblade and then into maybe Blade. But we don't have to. We can also build into Sundered Sky. It's probably going to be Sundered Sky. So my bot lane is losing the game very hard, but... No worries. I got this game. Let's farm some more jungle camps. I'm going to steal every single jungle camp on top side so that Fiddlesticks will never get it. And it will hopefully make him fall behind a lot. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Maybe he will overextend. I don't know if he's going to walk in here. It seems like he's just hiding under tower. Okay, I guess I'm also done. <laughs> yeah, that could have definitely been smoother, but whatever. It's okay. It's uh, honestly a bad trade because I was worth a lot of value. And Gangplank wasn't worth anything. So it's, it's worth for him, not for me. Maybe we're lucky and it will continue to push into me. That would be great. Oh, he's going to teleport. Right. We have Soraka moving top. I think that my teammates can kill him. Let's go. Yeah, we have a bit of a challenge ahead of us. Seeing Ezra like popping off. But we just have to kill him once. He's got a big value to him. Uh, expect it to happen. I will not go for a team fight against them. I will keep on splitting until I can obliterate that Ezra myself. Next wave. Most people are in mid. And maybe we can take jungle camp. Seems like Fiddlesticks is taking it. They certainly know I'm stealing it. I'm trying not to overuse the mana. Trying not at least. Wait, this is going to be a very good play. Uh, I should have pressed R immediately. Yep, that's the CC. Thank you. I love playing against Team Comms with CC2. Like, you can just run through it. 
Hey, Marnix, thank you for sending like five sub gifts again, man. As always, you've been sub gifting so much over the over the past, you know, many weeks. Thank you, Marnix. Thank you for all the sub gifting. Thank you, man. We're probably gonna take one more wave. And then we're gonna go back. And then we will buy the item. The secondary item is a big power spike to me. Sidestep. Okay, it's time to head back. Get the, uh, the secondary item. And then I'm probably gonna start rotating across the map. And see if we... Uh, can hopefully kill this Ezreal, because he's actually worth a lot. My third item is probably Sundered Sky, although I think that Death Dance would be a great fit too. I think it's going to be Sundered Sky for sure. Does not seem like... Okay. Nice. And we also got the Ezreal. So that's a lot of gold. I had to play around my uh, cooldown time because they were all on cooldown. I think I might take the whole tower too. Yep. Uh, Fiddlesticks is about to get wrecked. So I'm not going there. And I hope there's actually a rep buff that I can also steal. Yeah, great. Well, we got a lot of things done here. More jungle camps too. Got the whole team losing, but we're keeping it up. Let's walk away. 2,800 gold. I don't know what the enemy team is doing. <laughs> What is the enemy team doing? You're walking into an Olaf? Are you kidding? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I nearly turned and also killed him too. <laughs> no way. I could have nearly turned it. I think my teammate expected me to turn like this. Okay, we have a choice to make now. We can go into Sundered Sky. We can also go into Trinity Force. I think that Trinity is very nice. I think I might go Trinity, actually. Trinity is a better option for me in this game. Uh, now I'm going to go into Sundered Sky. So it's going to be Shrybaker into X, X Blade and then into Trinity and then into Sundered Sky. Okay, let's go again. I think I might just ult mid lane. I just go in directly with the item that I have. Probably, it depends. Seems like we're about to get a free kill here. Thank you. Let's just heal back. More jungle camps. Can I get them real quick? I would appreciate it. I'm not even using Q because it just cost me mana. Um, Brand is not a champ that I want to deal with. So I'll walk away from him. Uh, 
And then, yeah, let's go. I think I'll just quickly grab a blue buff along the way. That will be very useful to me. Oh, the attack speed and the E. It's one of the best combos ever. Didn't land. I wonder if I can ult fiddlesticks. <laughs> Triple. Hmm. Goodbye. <laughs> did my did Diana just catch him after? Unbelievable. Doesn't seem to be a ward. I hope I don't get ulted by Ezreal. Wait, I'll just check to make sure I don't get ulted. Nah, I don't. Sundered Sky. Okay. We now have 4000 HP with a ton of damage. Let's go. Do you see why I recommend Olaf now? Olaf is so nice. I think they're running off to bot lane. <laughs> yeah, I can run through CC, so good luck, have fun. Enjoy. Probably gonna get some MR at some point now. I need to uh, I need to get MR into their team comp as they have way too much. Oh, they go for the surrender straight away. All right, Ben. Hey, either way, this is uh, Olaf top lane. Thank you so much for watching today's Olaf video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.